Welcome back, everybody! We fought a demon last episode! And we asked the question, what the heck was that? And honestly, I have no idea, but it was just a demon. I guess that's all we can really call it. Why did it have a bell? I don't know. Ugh, excuse me. It had a normal human-like intellect. No. It is better to say, had left remaining. What? What do you mean? No. Dot dot dot. It is really rather sad. I guess you could say that. A little sad, for sure, no doubt about it. But what does it mean, though? What does it really, really mean? Oh man, we're going back the old fashioned way. I mean, not the old fashioned way, the quick way. I'll see you later. I'll wait at your dorm. Ugh. Hey, your left arm, and that fight you got, it's nothing. Are you sure? I wonder if he will forfeit the battling because of that injury. Dot dot dot. Eh, not necessarily. Maybe. But really not necessarily at all. Oh, it's the Emperor. Has he awoken? Yes, twice. No, three times to be exact. May I ask you this? Why would he be moved to a place like this? Was it the Elders? Nay. They're hoping for a more immediate disposal. I don't blame them. They have a deeply etched fear of him. Perhaps we should execute Order 66. Not Order 66, have you gone mad? Then... Yes, probably. Everyone will die to Order 66. It would be hasty to dispose of him now. I do not think it is too late to wait until we find out his purpose. There is no need to execute Order 66. If that is your judgment, then so be it. I will not execute Order 66 right now, then. Your will is my will, your majesty. Well then, allow me to... Wait a moment. I see. Yes. Their judgment has been handed down. What is it then? Execute Order 66. <laughs> a purge. Ah, okay then. I see. The number one gate generator is 200 Celts southwest of Nortune and 4,000 Shar underground. Its interference waves make guided weapon use impossible in this area, so up to the last minute the Hect must be piloted manually. After cancelling stealth mode, we will provide direct escort for the Hect inside. The enemy defense zone. Any questions? Well... Yes, Lieutenant. I understand our escort orders, but what is our main objective? That is classified. Without knowing our objective, our response to any orders will be slow. If we're just ordered to provide cover, we need to at least know the attack objective. The objective will be issued during the mission. It will be relayed directly to the Hex pilots. What? Your only concern is to protect the Hex from the enemy's anti-aircraft weapons. Any problems with that? No. If that's the case, anything else? Then this ends the main briefing. Confirm terrain, weather, and enemy defense details with the information at hand. The mission starts at 1700. Until then, wait in your assigned units. I shouldn't have to remind you that this mission is a purge. Remember, we have complete authority over the lambs. Dismissed. What does this mean? What does this mean? Oh my gosh, it's these people and here I thought I was taking orders with other people. This sucks, Lieutenant. How can we go along with this? What's he mean the objective has nothing to do with us? Be quiet, I'm thinking. Don't snap at me. I hate hysterical women. Are you ready to take the consequences for that remark? Uh... 
I don't think he is. Phew. What's wrong? Something bugging you? Sorry I'm so edgy. Those self-detonating bombs are just air units with Keith-class bombs on board. I don't see why they need to use them at all of a sudden. There are just too many. One of those alone would have enough firepower, but eight of them is overkill. They haven't told us our target yet, and we're not just going to drop them for fun. You bet I'm worried. Maybe the Persian lambs? They're human, the, the same as us, right? They have to give us a reason. I can't go along with this just because it's an order. Hmm. What? Nothing. Even though we are called Solarians, we are third class citizens or worker bees. Us third class citizens have our or origins in the lambs. I can understand us having doubts in such orders. But you, you're different. You are a pure first class citizen and come from a good family. I've heard your father has a lot of, of pull in the military. My family and father have nothing to do with it. Well, if you ask me, a first class citizen thinking like this is a little unusual. Not really, it's quite natural. So, how about it? Are you gonna do it? The army will demote us all back to being third class citizens. Don't worry. I'll just do my duty. I'm. But I'm only escorting the Hecht. I won't help with anything else. But what if something happens? You're just backing yourself into a corner. Can't be helped, I guess. Well, either is fine for us. Just do what you're told. Nothing else matters. Yeah, that's right. Nothing else matters. And that's final. Well. I guess we're just gonna get back to where the heck we were before. Back to the dorm where we belong, which is right here? Or no, that was the other one. Other side, I was like, wait a second, this doesn't feel right to me. This one feels right though, it feels very, very right. What's up man, how's it going? You're late, you made me wait for ages. Uh, yeah, totally ages. Oh, er, uh, sorry. Later, the doc said he wanted to pay the courtesy of burying the monster. So I waited outside. Is that so? Oh well. At least the murders have been brought to an end. Yes, that is right. And Faye has been proved innocent as well. Dot dot dot. And I guess the out of bounds order on the sewers was lifted straight after that too. Anyway, my allying with you ends here. The next time we meet Faye, we'll be, we will be opponents. Come on, try and beat me. I enjoy seeing you try to settle your scores with me. Hey, what about that wound to your arm? You can't try to battle in that state. Can you really afford to worry about your opponent? Well, I mean, we're fighting in gears anyway. Does it really matter? But Rico... Worry about yourself before others. Don't hold back now. Give me your best fight. If you don't do your best, you could be the one who dies. Understood. Right. That's good. Well, at least Faye is listening. Right. Now that that matter is resolved, I have done all I can, to, I can do to help. What is left is up to you, Faye. You must settle this other problem with your own hands. I guess so. Does his arm wound bother you that much? Faye, you realize we do not have... I know, Doc. We don't have much time to spare. What's more, what he says is right. You shouldn't hold back in a battle. Etiquette dictates a true fight. It seems I was overly concerned. Anyway, let's rest up now. Remember, you must win up to the finals league first. And the champ is not the only one you have to beat. True, true, true! We're gonna have to beat some other people first. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So first things first. I say we save this game up, shall we? Let's see, we want file number five, of course. There we go. Now that's more like it. Let's freaking do this. I'm ready to fight to the death in Gears. 
And then we'll fight the champ. In years. Are we fighting the champ on foot? I mean, that's something I don't understand. Like, if it's all gears and then the finals isn't gears, and isn't that just a little bit weird? Like, why would you just change it up for the finals randomly? So I don't know what's going on here, but I assume we're going to be fighting in gears, so... Mm. But why does his arm really matter? Oh, yeah, he don't talk to you. Oh, I gotta talk to you! I think... Ugh! Today's the semifinals. Win three matches to qualify for the finals league. If you want to enter the semifinals, three matches? Seriously? Well, whatever, give it a try. I confirm the entry of Pilot Faye. One moment, please. Oh my gosh, here it comes! The gear well tall has been sent to the storage paddock. Stand by for boarding. Alright! Let's do this! Pilot Faye, please proceed to the competitor paddock. Let's do this! Yeah! Oh man, long time no see tournament. We're finally back. Versus Hatamoto. How do you fight again? Oh gosh, okay, that's how you fight. I remember now. I mean, kind of. Gosh, this guy's got a lance. He's so cool. Look at him. He's like trying to lance me up. It's like, what the heck, man? Not trying to do that. You're just kind of failing here. I'm just kidding. You hit me a few times. That wasn't a complete failure. I guess. This still seems kind of neat, though. Not gonna lie. I like the interesting fighting game mechanics that just added this game for no reason. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want you to do that now. Come on. Also, did he just fire a beam after I got up when I wasn't even pressing the beam button anymore? I was trying to do it beforehand. Apparently, still carried over. Oh. Oh. I don't need to do that. I can just fire beams all day and I can still win. Victoriousness! Oh, yeah. Easy. Man, even the semifinals are easy. That's just nuts. Alright, well, battle one completed. So this is what they mean by taking great risk. Well done on a close win. Here's the prize money paid to winners of a battling bout. It's well earned. 1500 G. Oh, yeah. Wait, no bonus? So if I don't... Hmm. So I'm guessing I get a bonus if I don't lower my health too much like that. Oops. I would like to enter, please. I want to go to the finals league. I'll enter. I've confirmed the entry of Pilot Faye. One moment, please. Oh my gosh, here it comes! The gear well tall has been sent to the storage paddock. Stand by for boarding. Oh, shoot. Pilot Faye, please proceed to that competitor's paddock. Alright, let's do this! Faye, stop being so excited for this. You didn't even want to do this before. Fire wheel? Oh gosh. Well, that's cool. I don't mind fighting a fire wheel. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Whoa, he's kind of beating me up a little bit. I don't like this. Whoa, Whoa punch him a little bit. Whoa, come on, Faye. You got this? I totally believe you. There you go. See, that was so easy. Oh my gosh. Replay. Replay that beat him up. Ooh, ah, yeah. Just like that. I could probably skip these replays, I'm guessing, can I? But I don't want to. Why would I want to do that? Yeah, I'm gonna beat you so easily. Let's look at that. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. And just like that, the fire wheel's been tamed. You were victorious. Easy again. What a surprise. Alright, let's see if we get a bonus this time, since I won a lot bigger. Not a bad battle, keep the good work. Here's the prize money paid to the winners of a battling bout, it's well earned. 2,000 G! Oh, and Supervisor B will pay you a special bonus, keep the good work. So yeah, I gotta do well to get the bonus, okay. Well, I want the bonuses then, so I'm just not gonna be stupid next time around. It's last bout of the day, win, the win this to qualify for the finals league. You want to enter the day's final bout? Of course I'll enter! I confirm the entry of Pilot Faye. One moment, please. Oh my gosh, I can hear it coming. I can't wait. The gear well tall has been sent to the storage paddock. Stand by for boarding. Oh, we're almost there. I'm so excited. 
Puffet, please proceed to the competitor's paddock. Let's do this! Yeah! It's about time we get to do this. Silver Star. Well, this is, looks like a monstrosity to me, but I'll take it. I don't mind fighting this. I don't get it. Why did I get a bonus that one time I died once? I don't understand. I did get a bonus for that, didn't I? I feel like I do remember getting one. It's kind of weird, though. It's like, wasn't that a worse game than the one where I didn't get knocked out at all? And yet, for some reason, I got a bonus because, like, oh, I guess I wasn't really a close call, huh? I mean, sure. If you say so. Yeah, oh man, oh yes, that's more like it. I just want to beat you up. How about that? Yeah, knocked out, got him. So easy. 39 seconds, it was also easy. It's too easy, give me all that gold. I want more gold. Hmm, not a bad battle, keep it the good work. Here's the prize money paid to the winners of battling about, it's well earned. 2500G, oh yeah. What do you got, Supervisor B? 800G, heck yeah. What's up, Hammer? Bro, you did it. You won, you're the battling champ. Or, close enough anyway. Victory's in reach if you just win tomorrow's finals. League, we'll have our names cleared and be released. We? But Hammer, you know my opponent is no pushover. His power is incredible. He's been battling champion for three years straight. Beating him is going to be no easy task. Up till today, I've managed to win somehow, but tomorrow is another matter. I doubt that I will win. That's your attitude. You'll lose even if you could have won. Come on, bro. Show some fighting spirit. Well, that's true. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be the type to say something like that. You're right. I'll never win with these pre-battle blues. Thanks, Hammer. Well then, let's head back to our lodgings now. I'd like to be able to say no problem, but tomorrow's finals league is important. Don't you think you should take care in servicing and customizing your gear? Our face depend on it. Gear servicing? Heh. <laughs> Leaving it just to one mechanic worries me a bit. I'll ask the doc to give us a hand also. A bit of a worry? That's not so, bro. This year mechanic is doing the best you can, you know? I didn't mean it that way, so don't get all upset now, Hammer. Anyway, let's go back to our barracks and call the doc, shall we? Wait, don't you think you should save your battling record in the memory cube? Okay, don't break the fourth wall now, jeez. I suppose I should. Alright, I'm gonna save my data right now, what the heck? Why not? Gosh dang it! Why do I do that? Ah! File! <laughs> the fact that you're telling me that means something's gonna happen, right? <coughs> the finals are never gonna actually happen. Alright, whatever. Finish your day's battling safely, hey bro? Why not return to your quarters and rest up a bit? Or you can buy something. Hammer's items, hammer's gear parts. I'll buy your gear parts, why not? You got anything new? Something you didn't have before? Perhaps? No? Nothing. Lame. Lame! That's lame, Hammer! You don't just tell me to buy some stuff and then not have anything good. What would gear parts even get me anyway? Come oh, on, bro, you didn't shave your battling record in the memory cube, didn't you? No. No, I'm just kidding, I did. Of course I did. What? What? Screen fade to black? What does this mean? That's eerie. No, I have to wonder what I got to mean. Is that all? Yup, this is the best that can be obtained around here. You think I can win with these crude parts? You've got a point. Compared to the champ's gear, the quality just does not match up. There's nothing we can do. Master Rico's gear is a special make of gear provided by the committee. A maintenance to parts, it receives the best of everything. As long as money is involved, champ will go all out. That's one of the reasons you're so powerful. Can we get better parts? This... <laughs> As usual, you haven't learned anything, have you? Who's there? Is it Riku? Is it someone else? Oh, 
Eh? Who are you? Oh, it's the wise man! I, what voice did I give him again? Long time, Fay. You're the one from the Ava tournament? What do you want? I'm busy right now. Hmm. No matter how high quality your gear may be, you won't be able to defeat him. What? What are you talking about? Exclamation mark, question mark? I don't get it. Okay, sure. Did he leave, or did he just go somewhere else? And if he, Okay, why? Yikes! Okay. You still do not understand, do you? Then let me show you. What? We're fighting? What was that transition? Also, why are we in a random elevator shaft or something? What, what is this? Not an elevator shaft. Like, it's like a ventilation shaft. A prison! We're more of a prison than ever before. Why do you suddenly want to fight for? Are you crazy or something? Enough talk. Take this. Whoa! Y you're serious? Of course. So put up a good fight. Because if you don't, your life is mine. Oh yeah, that's totally fair. So we just started me off with basically 96 damage right out of the gate. Alright. Cool, man. Cool story. Well, I'll give you a Hagen in that case. Hey, I'm doing damage! Gosh, he can actually take some damage finally. Why is it one-on-one? -on -one? Why not two-on-one? Eh? I do not understand at all. Okay, what does Chi do for me here? Oh, uh, got a shot. <laughs> One damage. Okay. I mean, hey, that's cool too. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I'm gonna do some Iron Valor because I need to raise my attack power in the worst way. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm really gonna beat you in the next week. You better watch out. Stop it. Stop hurting me. I'm not ready for this. I need to use some inner healing, please. Can we get that far? Can we? 125, that's it. Uh, it's not enough. It just isn't enough. What am I supposed to do about that? I don't know. How about some more inner healing, huh? I might as well try to outlast him any way I can. Alright, do I get another attack? Yeah, I can move twice now. Alright, so this is what I'm thinking here. I'm insane. So therefore, I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn right there. What a whip? Uh-oh. 90. That's not too bad. I was expecting a little worse. What? Now you can attack me twice? Excuse me? Wait. What? Oh, this is dumb. This is freaking dumb. Uh, it's the same technique as me. How come? But. But I could have won this fight, though. If you're saying that losing was acceptable, then I could have won this. I could have done more. Fighting brute strength with brute strength is a sign of a great fool. It's obvious that a lighter body such as yours will always be at a disadvantage in a head-on attack. I just gave you a good example that minor difference between you and I had this outcome. Now someone else with a mass several times as you, like Rico, the outcome becomes highly apparent. This applies to Gears as well. Even if you were to get parts comparable to Rico's, there is still that difference in mass. To make it for this, one must commit to a single final strike that thrusts at the opponent's fissure. Dot dot dot. I have given you the hint. It's up to you to figure out figure it out through experience. Wait. Why is it that you have the same fighting style as I? And how do you know my name? Tell me! Hmm. Fine. 
It was three years ago. The one who took you in your multi mutilated state to that mountain village was none other than myself. You're the one who brought me to Lahan? Yes, at your father's request. My father's? What's your relation to my father? Khan and I were fellow students. Khan? Is that my father's name? Why do you ask for your father's name? You haven't lost your... Yeah. So tell me anything you can, will you? I see. In your injured state, I wouldn't have been surprised. <laughs> Wise man. Khan Wan. That is your father's name. Since our youth, Khan and I studied the martial arts together. Father and you? Yes. Eventually, your father became an officer of a certain country. There, he met a young woman. She was about 20 years old. Her name was Ker Karen. She was like a flower in full bloom. Flower? He means that she was extraordinarily beautiful. I see. Then she's... Yes, your mother. Khan married your mother, and I left on a journey to strengthen myself. Then my mother... Where is my mother now? You do not remember that either? I see. According to Khan, when you were but a child, she passed away. Oh. Poor Faye. Time passed. During my journey, I received a letter from Khan. The letter said that his son was taken away by a man. Khan once said you had special powers. The man who wanted that power took you. That man was Graf. Graf? He took me away? You've met him? Yeah, three times. It's amazing, you're still in one piece. It seemed to Graf that I was still not powerful enough to achieve his ultimate goal. Anyway, let me hear more about this story. Khan wished to go find his son, and if possible, he wanted my help. I agreed to Khan's request and began searching for you. And that man. Then came that one fateful night three years ago. There was a violent storm. The storm felt as if it was thrown at us through a sheer rage. That night, Khan notified me that he had located his son. So I headed for that location as if I was drawn to it. You and Khan were wounded badly. I have no idea what had happened between you two and Graf. By then, Graf had already gone. I don't know why, but probably he was driven away by Khan. Khan decided to pursue Graf and left me to care for his son. I provided you with the necessary first aid and left you in the custody of those village people. Then I followed after Khan. You probably lost your memory when you were injured then. Why did my father pursue Graf? I do not even know, just that he said it was not only for the sake of his son, but also for the sake of the world. That that man had to be disposed of, he added. That if something were to happen to him, I would have to take care of the rest. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Graf said that my father was dead. Hmm. If Graf has been appearing in your presence, then that is a possibility. That is truly unfortunate. Do you remember anything about your fighting techniques? Huh? No, nothing. Hmm. Your fighting skills were probably taught to you by Khan. Khan and I both studied under the same master, that is why my techniques are similar to yours. Well then, I must be off. To where? I will go find him, I need to pinpoint what his intentions are. And also for Khan's sake. Just tell me one thing, what country was my father an officer for? Are you going there? I don't know. There are other things I have to take care of. Yes. The floating land which tries to hide behind a wall, protect it as if it could conceal their failure. That is Shivat. That is your father's country. Shivat? The floating land? Sounds like Solaris to me, really. Farewell. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey! 
Get back here! What a mysterious person. Is this the second time you have met him? Did you not watch the Ava tournament, Doc? You were there, weren't you? Wasn't he there? I swear he was watching the tournament! Unless he went to go do something else while Faye was fighting? Uh, I don't understand. Huh? Yeah. I don't understand. Well, anyway. <laughs> that question seems a little unnecessary. Why did Doc ask that question? I do have to wonder. Perhaps we'll find out why he asked that question on the next exciting episode! Like you didn't see that coming. Oh my gosh. But seriously, why does he know that? I don't get it. Maybe that's something we'll find out tomorrow. Or maybe not. Or maybe it's just some kind of plot hole that they kind of forgot about. Like, oh yeah, Doc was watching that. Maybe they just kind of forgot about that. Brain fart. You never know. It happens. Anyway, see you all later!